Hey there, Twitch. It's good to see you again. This is the Geeky Minecrafter bringing you another streaming video. Uh, today we're down in the mine, <laughs> and I have to tell you, I'm a little frustrated. I was uh, digging, widening my staircase, which is uh, right over there. I was widening it, and I uncovered a little pool of lava. It was just one brick wide. And I'm uh, looking around, I'm getting ready to lay some cobblestone under it, and a zombie came up behind me, stealth-like, and pushed me in and killed me. Uh, I was, it was actually too deep, uh, not one, and I couldn't get out, and the zombie was hitting me on top of that. So, um, yeah, that was, that was really, really fun. So, I, fortunately, my mine is right underneath my base. I was able to get back down here and uh, collect my stuff, my armor, and uh, all that good stuff before it despawned. But, God, i got to tell you, I was like a level, about a half a level away from being able to enchant my next tool. So, needless to say, I'm a little ticked off. Uh, I guess it's my own fault. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I can hear them around me, and I wasn't paying attention to, you know, where they were. Now, I thought I'd blocked everything off, but it turns out... Here, I'll show you. It turns out that over here in the mine is a section that was a, uh, let me just make sure, you know, just a normal slit like this, right? Well, it turns out it was open on the top. There was a cavern, okay, right in here. So zombies are dropping in here, and this was open, and they were just, you know, they were getting to wander the, the mine uh, at their leisure. So, <laughs> yay! Uh, I don't know what was going on there. So I did block it off. I put a note on it so when JD Naz gets in here, he w maybe won't, you know, take this uh, take this block away. Now I did find, you know, once once they get in there and you hit them a couple of times, uh, they bring their friends, uh, and they'll stand right there, and you can wail on them. It's kind of a m little mini XP grinder. Uh, I was able to. I don't know, get about five levels just from the zombies that spawned in there. Now I went ahead and converted this little lava pool, and remember I told you when I found it, it was just one little brick wide. Uh, but when I started expanding and, and digging out around it, uh, of course it was significantly bigger than that, so uh, I converted it, made it an obsidian pool. Again, I've got an XP farm uh, and a gold farm that I want to build that uh, is going to need quite a bit of uh, obsidian. So let's do that. I don't know. Here we go. Part of me, yeah, see. Part of me wants to take this down one more and go ahead and block that off get a little bit more obsidian out of there. I mean, since we can't have an obsidian generator, why not just convert all the lava we have into obsidian? So if you're just joining us, um, I'm the Geeky Minecrafter. I have created a new world. And I'm down in here uh, doing my thing, getting, uh, <laughs> getting busy with the mining. I did go over to the mob farm that I had created and um, pulled a lot of uh, uh, string and arrows in there uh, because I, I really needed the, um, the resources. I've got a project coming up that's going to require quite a few um, uh, resources, uh, spider webs, dispensers, that kind of thing. So I really wanted, uh, really wanted to start pulling that over. I did stay AFK over there. Hey, hey. Quit it. Okay, let's do this. I'm sorry. Give me just one second here. I'm trying to um, trying to get it where I can watch the chat room. Make sure, you know, if there's uh, any questions in there, I've got a opportunity to see them and answer them. So, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I am monitoring it. I apologize for 
that little dead space there. Again, I'm a new Twitch channel, and I'm interested in what's important to you. Uh, if you want to see videos on mining, I'll do those. If you want to see videos on building in redstone, I'll do those. Uh, I'm really pretty flexible. I want to do what you want me to do. Now, right now, I need some levels. So, you know, unless you ask differently, like just you want to see my iron golem farm or uh, something like that, I'm going to keep mining. I need the levels. I'm down, back down to 18. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. You know, I know better. That, that's the problem. I'm mad at me, not the zombie. I know better. Uh, I didn't cover it up as soon as I found it, and I should have. Uh, predominantly because, you know, I could hear them around me. Now, there is a chamber right over there. Uh, and where I, where I was was right about here. No, it was this one. Sorry. Nope, I'm wrong. It was this one. But I could hear them, and I knew there was probably a chamber here. Now, this goes out to the second level of the mine. So, see, I, I've been in here before, and I knew there was a chamber right behind here. And that's, uh, that's where I thought the sounds were coming from, so I wasn't worried. it! And I should have been, you know. I got a little complacent. Just goes to show you cannot get complacent. They will jump on you and tear you down. Tear you down real quick. Now I know mining obsidian is really, really boring, so what I'll do um, just clear this last little bit and uh, I'll head up I'll head over to where I'm working the mine and start my next uh, run. Now, what I've been doing, I've been having to pull out quite a bit of resources and making it, having to make a trip all the way back to, you know, the base when it's time uh, to offload. So, let's see, i got a little bit here. Gosh, I really hate to waste this. Yeah, I'm going to convert it. But I won't mine it right now. I won't make you sit through that. I will head over here and do a little bit of mining. Oh, again, need those points. Give me the XP. Now, one thing I did do, um, I mentioned this, I, just a little housekeeping. You know, I, uh, I do like things neat and tidy. <laughs> if you know me at all, if you've watched my Let's Play series at all, you know that's true. Um, so I was in here widening my staircase down to the mine and uh, cleaning it up. Now, here's the good news. I did find some resources while I was working on this. Uh, I found, I don't know, about 15 iron coming down this hall. And believe it or not, I found four or five diamonds. Now, I had them on me when I fell into the lava. And I lost them. <laughs> Yay. So, yeah, that was, that was not fun. I really could have used those. Let's see. Let's get some of these in here. I think um, I hauled up a bunch of uh, cobblestone last trip. There we go. I don't have any sticks, but that's okay. I've got wood down here I, I can make them with. I just want to make sure I have enough uh, torches before I head over to the mine. Oh, what was I doing? Here we go. Torches, torches. Yeah, when I'm uh, when I'm running slits, I'm I'm putting torches every I don't know, five uh, five blocks. I really don't want anybody to be able to spawn in on me. So we'll make sure let's see there's some more obsidian. And like I said, I've been down here busy, busy making obsidian. Making and mining. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I was working right down here. Let me just find where I was. I think it was this one. Yeah, see, it's open. Uh, this is where I was working. So let's head down here. Now, 
I did hit some lava down here, created another obsidian pool, which is where about 50 of those um, obsidian blocks came from. As you can see, this is one of the reasons I do it three high. I mean, not only am I, you know, seeing more of what's going on, but I can do the run skip, <laughs> which is, uh, I think, pretty handy. Yep. Okay, I think this is where I was working. And is there a, um, what is that up there? I think that's a, uh, a little cavern that goes right over the top here. So, let's see. Did that one? Did that one? I think that one goes all the way down too. So I think we're here. Okay, I am. Uh, I am working on the mine. You know, making it a little more uh, presentable. Being able to uh, get to everything from this level, and then of course that level up there. Uh oh. I remember I remember where I'm at now that is a cavern that uh, has a bunch of zombies in it so we're gonna turn that around okay I just went in uh, right before and offloaded everything so I should have enough inventory space here to make it all the way down to the front of the mine and while we're doing this let's chat Oh, no. Wait, was that not flowing? Oh, no, it is. All right, then. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks. So let me see what's going on here. One, two, three, four. 13 blocks. So this block right here, I don't want to get too close here. There we go. All right. Oh yeah, not cool. Not cool. All right, let's go a little higher. Yeah, I definitely want to um want to get over on top of that. See if I can't uh God, I hate getting up that close. And there's why. higher so it's at that level is that how you guys read that uh, oh no come on let's get up here we got a little little something something between us and the lava and water yay Okay, so I have lava here. Is that right? Not anymore. I have a water here. So we didn't have any lava left? Oh yeah, big chunk of that right there. Come on. Huh. What is going on right up there? I think that's part of that cavern. But it's pretty narrow, right? It have to be. Okay, well, criminy. Try to work this back a little at a time. Huh. 
Huh. That's not gonna let me. Okay, well, I am not having the best luck with lava. What is that? Is that the other side? Oh no, I think that's that cavern. Isn't it? Yep. Okay, so we got a cavern on this side. We got lava on this side. It's going to take quite a bit more to get up over it. So, just going to do this. Okay, so lava's on the other side of these rocks. We'll go two over and see if we still have a challenge. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna work with lava or obsidian for you. Uh oh, that's not cool. I may not have a choice. Just doesn't want to let me have a break here, does it? Okay, well. Oh, good grief. Okay, so, isn't that special? I thought I was low enough. I'm at level six. Well, I was low enough. This wasn't going to be a major issue for me. Could it be I was wrong? Oh, did you see that? Try to catch me on fire. See that's bedrock right there. Give me a break. Okay, and I got lava above me here, so yay! Always fun. Man, I did not know lava could be all the way down to bedrock, for the love of Pete! Come on, come on. Well, again, I lied. Okay, I'm not gonna leave these little guys open. They're just, uh, they're just accidents waiting to happen. So we can't go that way. To this way is here. Let's see what we can do about this level. Uh, let's count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We're going to use lava precautions, which means keeping a stone between me and my next dig. Yep. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that right there to remind myself of what's happening right there. Um, let's try let's let's try to get above it. So I do have Oh, that's under that cavern, isn't it? Sure is. Okay, screw it. I'm sorry. Pardon my French. Let's go down here a little bit. This is uh yeah, here we go. So this one goes all the way through. Let's take this one all the way through. Just interested in being able to mine. I need some diamonds. I need some... Huh. Give me a break. Lava Central. How can we take... How can we direct your call?
Okay, let's see if we can go around it. <laughs> okay. There's two of them. Okay. Did we get around it? Okay, so this one did go all the way through. We just didn't think it did. Oh, I'm wrong. Let's just block that off, keep it from running. Okay. So, next. Good grief. I know. See, the smart thing would probably be to go up and work on that upper level. If I'm not mistaken... When I was uh, working in the channel there to my... Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are silverfish. See how long they're taking? Come on, bring your friends. We could use the XP. Come on! Did you go back in the rock? Why, yes, I think you did. Really? You don't want to come out and play? Come on. Come on, come play. Come on. I'm going to chase you into your rock. What? I see. He did not want to come out and play with me. That just seems so unfair. Just see water drip. I swear I saw water drip. We both know there's stuff above us. I'm not hearing any lava. Which is why I've got my efficiency four pick out and just kind of wor working this. Loving it. That's like my sixth emerald. I know, I know. You're thinking it's only six? I've pulled more diamonds out of this mine than emeralds. Uh oh. Come here. Really? Oh, that's not good. Oh, my fingers are on the wrong key. Good grief. Okay. Chimney. Big o big old torch on that. We'll go too wide for a minute. So we no longer see this stuff dripping. Gonna go right under this little pool, aren't we?
Okay, I'm not seeing any more drip. I'm just going to take a chance. Yep. Okay, so I'm curious. How many? There it is. So we're going to put one of these here. All right. Wow. You know, I've had uh, I've had some pretty good luck running these. Oh, come on. Come on, where's your prince? Bummer. I need more XP. Or, I guess to be more accurate, I need to stop dying. Because with what I had and what I've pulled out since, I'd had enough to... Man, I'd do a couple of enchants. Something it's really time for, and that's one of the reasons I've been focused on the obsidian. I need a gold farm. Gold and XP. I've been watching uh, Mumbo. I've been watching Doc77. Uh, a few others who have created farms that do what I wanted to do. And, and basically, you know, you have a couple of choices. You can just go ahead and kill them all just get the gold and it's just a AFK kind of station you park yourself in a safe room you walk away the zombie pigmen die the gold is collected and uh, you just keep going now the problem with that is there isn't a lot of XP that you're gonna get that way you kinda need to be involved if you want the XP now there, you can do some fall damage. You can drop them so that you know they're they're just one hits. Uh, but you know you have to be involved. So I I think what I want to do is I want to build a combination. I want to build it so that when I'm there, when I'm physically there, um, it can become an XP farm. I can you know throw a switch, and it will maybe lift it up at one level so that they don't die they just take one hit and then they they're dead so I can throw a splash potion or I can punch them or you know whatever uh, and then you know if I just want it collecting the gold I can throw the switch and it'll just you know let them let them fall let them die collect the gold and I don't have to be involved but I miss the experience points so I, I think a I want to do both. I've been looking at a couple of designs. I've got some ideas for that. Uh, probably going to go into my redstone world and try it out. Uh, make sure that uh, you know it works. Because listen, when you're in survival mode, um, frankly, you know, you want to you want to make sure you know it works <laughs> before you spend the time. Uh, let's see. Okay, spooky noise. You know what that means? It means it's midnight out there, or actually, I guess it means it's early evening, ready to be night. And is that the second or third time it's gone off since I've been down here? I don't know. And one thing I did do before coming down here, before turning on the camera, was I had gone out to my iron golem farm, and I had collected all the iron, and it was... Two sacks, two stacks of 64 plus 47 and change, or 47 in, in the gold box, and then the the roses or peonies or what are they called? So quite a few iron golems gave their life while I was in the mine working. I think I pulled two stacks of iron out while I was mining, and I got two stacks and change, almost three, frankly, from the iron golem farm. So. I'm in here mining, but it's mostly about XP and less about iron. Well, I say that. My project is going to require a lot of iron, so 
not going to turn any of it down right now. Oh, scared me. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> So it's going to be time soon to offload, right? Where are we at? Oh, we got a couple. Four stack, four left. Maybe we can make it there. Let's see, I'm at uh, 417. I think the mine is like uh, three and change. 360, perhaps? I don't know. Ooh. You know, I used to pull up all the gravel just for the steel, <laughs> but now that I've got the mob farm and uh, an, uh, basically an unlimited supply of arrows, I don't I don't worry about the um, gravel so much anymore. That is a pretty good feeling, too. Gotta tell ya. Oh, scared me. Thought we were talking lava. I wonder, does anybody know how fast does lava begin leaking? through the uh, roof line when, when you go under it and there's wa lava flowing above it? Do you know how long uh, it takes for, before the drips start showing? Anybody? Anybody? I would be curious if you know. Please feel free to put that in the chat. Also, since you're here and you're watching, and I appreciate your, your coming in today, uh, let me know who you are and what your favorite part of Minecraft is. Uh, for me, it's the building, it's the redstone. Uh, but I do find mining in here just, you know, whacking away and uh, getting, re pulling resources out. I find it kind of therapeutic. You know, before I go to bed at night, I, I will come in here and I'll spend an hour just, you know, wailing away gives me lots of resources, but it's I, I find it very calming. Now, I will tell you my <laughs> right index finger gets a little tired. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, they make a mouse that you can just say, program it, you know, kind of like sticky keys, right? Program it to stay down so I wouldn't have to press so hard. That, that would be awesome. Let's see, where are we? That's what I thought. Okay. Can I not pick up that block? again. It's pretty deep. It's not letting me set it. I'm just going to do this and go right over it. Oh, that was close. 
I was thinking it was coming in on top of us, right? And look at this. I'm my inventory's all full, so let's go offload some of this. Uh, good grief! I've got a lava pool in there. It keeps setting everything on fire. Okay, I just carried a bunch of this upstairs, didn't I? Let's go grab this. Looks like I've been uh, dropping it for a while. Did we encounter lava right in here? It's the only reason I can think I left this behind. Nope. Alrighty then. So if you're interested, I do have an iron golem farm that I've created. I'd be happy to show that to you. If you'd like to see it, just uh, put your name or, or your comment in the uh, comment area down below, and I will take you upstairs and show you that. Let's see what we have here. No, nope, no comments. No, really? Okay, let's put let's leave the gravel down here. I'll carry all this up. Tell you what, let's uh let's see what we have to carry up. Iron, redstone. We have some obsidian I do right here, a couple of these. I'm just going to collect these until I get uh, pretty much a chest full, and then I'll take them up. No diamonds on that run. That's disappointing. Again, I had just found six, or four uh, right in here when that stupid zombie knocked me in the lava. So, yeah. Still not built up to where I was when he pushed me in. Jackwad. So, let's put this stuff uh, in the sorter. Let's see. Obsidian goes here. I didn't bring very much... Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. Well, you know, since we're up here, why don't we go take a look at the Iron Golem farm? See how much uh, iron we've pulled out. See if it's uh, comparable to mining efforts. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, let's put that up. I don't want to walk around out there with precious jewels. Okay, eight. Eight emeralds. I thought I had six. Mm, just take a little peek outside. Okay. So there's the Iron Golem farm. It's got four pods with about mm, 30 villagers in each pod. It's got three levels with quite a few doors up there. And the each of the levels has a uh, uh, water flowing. <gasps> nice. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. I'm loving that. Uh, we actually pulled more iron out of the Iron Golem farm than we did out of the mine at, in the same time frame. So one thing I'm doing as I walk by, I'm clearing this stuff. I'm, I'd like to get to this, the point where it's just a little peninsula. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but you know I am working on it. I think I'm gonna put. Uh, I don't know. I've got big plans out here, but I don't want to build everything right right real close. Uh, I would like to spread things out a little bit. It was one of the mistakes I made in the other world. I built everything right on top of one another, and Lord, it created some, some lag for me. So I think I'm going to try and keep things spread out a little bit. Now, I do have a little chicken cooker right over here. Uh, it automatically cooks chicken as they grow up. Of course, you know, I've got about 20 or 30, I think it was 30-something at last count, 
uh, chickens in here and hoppers and dispensers and like that and so they're being um, they're laying eggs in here they're flowing down to the hoppers they're coming in here dispensers are dropping out and shooting against this glass pane there you go occasionally we get a chicken chicken grows up and hits the lava and dies now that means uh, I've got quite a few chicken that are just automatically being cooked for me while I'm down there working see that over there that's kind of my pride and joy yeah that's my mob farm that's where I'm getting my unlimited supply of arrows and bones and uh, what else uh, spider eyes and zombie flesh and all kinds of stuff I can use for trading now let's go ahead and put the dirt in here half the coal in here the iron and the poppies and you know what let's save uh, I, I, I tell you what I'll make them I'll carry them downstairs I also wanted to take some more wood downstairs now I have uh, I don't know that you'd call it a tree farm it kinda is uh, let me grab my axe here so originally until I got the um, the number of sugar cane that I needed all of these slits right here were sugar cane and I pull well wasn't that special my apologies uh, that was my display adapter I think just went a little nuts so let's see wh where was I I, I was explaining that I pulled probably close to a hundred stacks of uh, 64 sugar cane off of these little uh, cuts that I had out here until I had enough to build my enchant room all the books I needed and then I replaced them with trees so uh, basically I just come out here you know you gotta love oak they, they grow right beside one another you don't have to do anything uh, special for them um, if you don't mind waiting a little bit on them uh, you don't even have to uh, light them up or put bone meal on them you just throw them out here and come back in a day or two, a Minecraft day or two, and they're there. I pull a bunch of wood out, and this is what I'm using for signs and uh, sticks and torches and all like that. I'm, I'm just uh, pretty much pulling it out as I need it. Uh, or as I have a little bit of extra time, like now, I'll just go ahead and you know, knock down a row and replant. Now I got it. Uh, boy, it was growing pretty large earlier. I had to get a stack of stone out here and you know spend some time because I thought I got it all but there was a bunch of branches up in the trees up in the tops and that uh, I kept it from you know despawning I'd come out and look and there was this huge mass of trees right over here okay here are the uh, count sheep and one of the things I, I do, of course, pretty much every time I come out here, uh, I breed them, I give them a chance to all have their little babies, and then I walk in here and I wail on them and, you know, cut three or four down, take them in there, put them in the oven, and uh, throw them in our supply. I mean, that's one of the things, you know, if you just spend a little bit of time every time you walk in, nut burgers. So uh, I'm having some display adapter difficulties. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is try to um, that's just no fun I'm actually gonna come in here and say adieu uh, I know I promised some more mining and I'm sorry I may restart again in just a few minutes but once I start having these difficulties it pretty much remains until I reboot uh, Minecraft now I think I need to get uh, a different configuration I've got you know adapters going through my pluggables and my pluggables are feeding my display adapters because I have multiple adapters uh, multiple monitors and uh, I just I think there's a conflict somewhere so my apologies I will bid you adieu and say this is the geeky minecrafter signing out I hope you enjoyed this if you did check back often or follow to let me uh, to let me let you know when I'll be streaming uh, till next time happy mining <laughs>